Meghan Markle, who has been dubbed Duchess Difficult by some overseas media outlets for her allegedly notorious feuds in recent months, apparently has a head-scratching new moniker. According to the British magazine Tatler, some members of the royal staff at Kensington Palace are now starting to call the Duchess of Sussex Meghan, though it didn't elaborate further. David Jenkins, the senior editor at the UK High Society magazine, claimed in a spread detailing Markle's life post-royal wedding this week that a source who has connections with Kensington Palace said the 37-year-old was trouble. However, he admitted the royal is essentially damned if she does, and she's damned if she doesn't. Meghan Markle inspired Prince Harry to drop these five bad habits. He compared Markle's harsh media coverage to that of Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, when she married Prince Andrew. When she married Prince Andrew, the Queen's second son, she, like Meghan, was heralded as a breath of fresh air, a fun-filled redhead who'd blow the cobwebs off the monarchy. In the end, Lord Charteris of a Misfield, one-time private secretary to the Queen, declared, she is vulgar, 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 and that is that, Jenkins wrote, noting that Markle has seen nothing like that. He will be angry, he will be upset, he will want to keep his head down and he will want to protect Meghan. In response to the report, former Kensington Palace Press Secretary Dick Arbiter told Nine News Australia that Prince Harry would be angry that something like this is coming out, according to The Sunday. Meghan Markle's apparent bad habit sparks royal debate. He will be angry, he will be upset, he will want to keep his head down and he will want to protect Meghan, Arbiter added. This isn't the first time Markle has been accused of disgruntling royal staff. Several staff members have quit since Markle joined the royal family. In November 2018, Markle's personal assistant, Melissa Tu Abdi, resigned after six months after allegedly being reduced to tears by the Duchess' demands, according to The Mirror. A source told the British publication at the time the position became too much and she couldn't handle the pressure. Months later, in January, it was reported that Markle's personal protection officer was leaving her position after working for Markle for just six months. The expecting royal's assistant private secretary, Amy Pickerill, is quitting after the birth of Markle and Prince Harry's royal baby in April, people reported in early March. A source told the magazine that the resignation is amicable and the pair will stay in touch. Some outlets such as Insider are disputing that Markle's being called Meghan by staff saying a royal source told them the report is completely untrue. Royal expert Robert Jobson has suggested in the past that Prince Harry may be making things more difficult for his bride. I think that most of the stories that have been written about them are probably true otherwise Kensington Palace would have come down on them like an opening bracket ton closing bracket of bricks. Jobson told Yahoo! News Royal Box in July when Markle came under fire for allegedly choosing a tiara that Queen Elizabeth II didn't approve. I think most of it's probably true. I don't think Meghan was being difficult when she was picking out a tiara. I think Harry was probably being overly defensive and overly protective, Jobson argued at the time. Kensington Palace has previously denied reports that Markle has a tense relationship with royal staff, The Sun reports. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.